Hello, Arduino Uno R4 is still using Blink normally. This example will show how to make a small project send data from Arduino Uno to Blink and also send data from Blink to Arduino Uno. Let's start. Firstly, we will install the Blink library. We will choose the library manager, then type Blink in the search box. Click on the install button to install it. In my case, it's already installed. Then we will open the sample project from Arduino Wi-Fi Shield. We still keep the Blink simple Wi-Fi. Meanwhile, this Wi-Fi we will change to Wi-Fi S3. I will command out the Blink ID and compile the project to check if the project can work. Compilation has no error. It means everything works fine. We will open the Internet Explorer to shut the Blink console. In case you don't have Blink account, you can register for free. We will click on Develop version and then New Template. I will make name as Uno R4 YouTube then choose Arduino here. We will go to the tab web dashboard. To get slider to send data to Arduino Uno, this slider will prefer to visual variable in Arduino code, and we will make the max value of this slider is about 33. Next, I will take the label to receive data from Arduino Uno. We will choose the virtual pin here and use it with the V1 variable. I will set max value 100. As the same procedure, I will make another label with V2 variable and set the value from 100 to 200. OK, when we finish, we should press the Save button to save our work. We will go to Device section and refresh it to see the Uno R4 YouTube. Our device is still offline because it's not connected to the Internet. We click on the device to get device information and then paste it into Arduino code. I will change this to my home Wi-Fi name and password, then compile the project to confirm there is no error. I will change those variables to V1 and V2. V1 and V2 are a random value from 0 to 100 and 100 to 200. We will need this code to set an interval sending data from Arduino to the Blink and run the timer at the loop section. The things we must remember is to declare the timer at the top of the code. Everything seems normal. We will compile and upload the code. After uploading and waiting for the Arduino Uno connected to the Internet, we will go to the Blink to see what happens. It has online status here. Click the device. We can see the value of two labels is changing. One is changing from 0 to 100, and another is from 100 to 200. And this slider is still not sending data to Arduino. We will move to the next section to make it. At first, we will use the blink write function to get data to the v0 variable from the blink. Of course, we will need to declare the pin value here. I use the serial print function to show the receive value. Compile and upload the code to the Arduino Uno R4. At first time, we receive the value is zero. We return to Blink and adjust the slider to change data. The value now is 18. Let's return to the Arduino ID. Value 18 is shown here. It means the Arduino gets data from the Blink. I will adjust another value, 27. 
It changed on the screen monitor screen quickly. Now it's 33, also very quickly. And then 9, it looks very nice. Now, we go to the section to show the value on the LED matrix. I used those code from another YouTuber. I don't know much about it, but it works fine. You can use another way to show the value on the LED matrix. The last section is for installing the Blink app on the iPhone or the same in Android. We go to App Store to get the Blink application and then same as the web version. We will log in our account and then make the slider the gauge for variable V0, V1, V2. Okay, thanks for your watching. I hope this video can help you to get confident to use Blink with Arduino Uno R4. Thank you.